This radio has become quite popular, the Quanchang UV K5. Just after they brought this out, around about the same time that I did a video on it, they released a new version with some improvements and they've sent that to me today. So we're gonna have a look and see if it really has improved. Is it any better than the original K5? This radio is known as the UV K5-8 or UV K5, sorry, UV K6. I'm not quite sure which one it is, but it has had a little bit of a redesign. Um, so you can see here, let's have a look. On the front, comparing the two radios, it's a little bit different. The screen looks like it's got these like screws here at the front, a little bit more of a silvery color, a couple of the buttons a little bit different, but apparently it's supposed to have a much better speaker and we're gonna test that today. We're also gonna do a harmonics test as well because if you recall, the UVK5 was not too bad. The second harmonic I think from memory was just, just out of spec. So let's just see if the uh, eight is any better at all. So um, pretty much everything else is the same in this radio. All right, so the first thing I've noticed is you've got this orange screen. So you couldn't change that screen from the original one. The original one's got a white background. You couldn't change that. This one's got an orange screen, which looks to be a lot easier to, to read. Just looking at the readability of those two. Look, it's just, I don't know. To me, it just, it's, it's just that little bit easier to to be able to uh, to see there. So it looks like everything else in the menus is all the same. There's nothing that stands out that's different. Let's have a look and see if you can actually unlock this because if you recall, there is a way to be able to unlock this to uh, transmit. Holding the PTT and the top button there and turning the radio on and Look at that, we get the um, the hidden menu. So a quick test of FM and let's just compare the two because apparently the speaker is a lot better in this particular model. So let's go to the same FM radio station here. This is the original Quan Cheng. It's about mid, mid volume. Let's turn it all the way up. Okay. Now the new K5, you are uh, eight. Team take over. Uh, in that half an hour, we will be taking you back uh, a full week when Elliot from Melbourne came by to do like a version, taking on this track from Joji. It certainly sounds like the new um, version has a slightly better speaker. It's hard to tell. Now I know the big one was Airband. Let's have a look and see if Airband is any better or any worse. Not sure that it's any better than the original model. Um, certainly not as good as the TalkPod, which I've done a video on this as well. The AM on this is much, much better than the Quan Chang. Um, in actual fact, we could do a side-by-side -side comparison. Frequency mode. The hardest part about filming these videos is I'm actually waiting for the plane to come. <laughs> so that's hard. And that's the talk point. So it was hard. It was hard to catch there because I was talking over the top, but. Um, yeah, the distortion on the Quan Chang versus the Talk Pod uh, for AM as the aircraft just come in, it was it's it was hard to hear. So I don't think that the AM is any better on this new version with the new speaker apparently than the old one. Um, certainly, if you want to do airband receive, then the Talk Pod is the way to go. Uh, seven zero seven threshold wind three one zero degrees at one five knots runway three zero good luck. So what I'm going to do is an on-air test now, 146, 500, 2 metres, let's stick the radio here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my other HT, this is my Yosu VX8, which I did in the previous um, video using this one to, to test what the audio is like. This is VK7HH testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That was the audio test for that. Now let's swap it around and we'll put the VX8 here on the bench and we'll try testing this. This is an audio test, VK7HH testing the Quan Chang UVK5-8, 
Audio one, two, three, four, five. I've got the radio going through a 20 dB through line attenuator. I've um, eliminated this in the menus to make sure that it's uh, zeroed out. Uh, let's make sure that we're still plugged in, all good. Let's do an output power test. 5.2 watts, that's on high power. Medium, by the way, we're transmitting on two meters here at the moment, 3.6. And low power, we have Interestingly, low power seems to be the same as medium. So, okay, there you go. Let's do a quick UHF test. Power, high power, 4.55 watts. Medium, 3.1 watts. Low power, 2.6 watts. Spectral purity, there's our carrier on 146.500. Second harmonic is minus 13 we're looking for minus 16 so again it's so close it's the same as the k5 the original so i'd say that that's exactly the same 439.5 uh minus 16 minus 17 so we're we're good there and the fourth harmonic we're right down so that's uh, that's fine now let's do a test on 440 again on high power and there's our main carrier. Let's go to the second harmonic. And the second harmonic is minus 10. It's not quite. Again, it's about six, six dB out. And my test set only goes up to one gig, so I can't go any higher than that. But I would say that's pretty much exactly the same as the original K5. So what I've done is I've done the firmware hack for the Quanchang. It loaded on fine. This does the frequencies from 13 megahertz all the way up to 900, and, no, over 900, 1300 megahertz. So what we're gonna do is let's just see how well it actually receives because I didn't do that test with the old radio. As I only go up to a gig, I've set it to 999.9 megahertz. So. If we turn that on and we're outputting minus 104 dBm and we don't hear anything. And it just opens up the squelch there. So the squelch is set to one. So it does receive, it's, it's a bit deaf though. It's not really receiving all that well up at that frequency, so minus 99 dBm. So now let's go to GMRS 462.5625. And that's a lot better. Let's crank it back a little bit. That's receiving fine. So GMRS is fine. Now, I, I, I did have some questions. Does it transmit on GMRS? And if it does, how much output power is there? On high power, we get on GMRS, I think this is channel one, 2.3 watts. So it'll do 2.3 watts on GMRS. Now this originally went down to 50 megs. So let's go back down to 50 and see how it receives. Uh, if I can type in the correct frequency. Okay, we're receiving on 50 megs now and we have minus 106. Turn it back. And it's about 10 dB worse than it is on the ham bands up at VHF and UHF, which is to be expected. 50 megs is the bottom end of where it would receive i mean it obviously this is the hack firmware but the normal firmware will go down to 50 megs but it's not as sensitive down there let's go a little bit lower and let's try another common ham band is on 29 megs so 29.6 uh oh it says that we're in am we don't want am okay now we're back in fm 29.6 and our generator's on, we're receiving on 29.6, and minus 109.5, and it gets pretty noisy there, and yeah, that's, 
Again, it receives, but it's, oh, it's, <laughs> it's not gonna be the best receiver on the planet. Now, this will go down to 13 megs. That's about as low as it will go. Oh, maybe not. Did I put in the wrong number? Let's try 14. No. I thought this firmware went that low. Or is it 18? It might be 18 megs. It's 18 megs. Yes. Okay, so now we're on 18. Let's see how it goes down there. Not that there's anything that you will probably be listening to down there. And generators on. And that's even worse. So, yes, it receives, but it's not the best on the frequencies lower down. And it's because of the design of the radio. The radios might have the chip that can actually tune down that far, but it doesn't have the filtering in it. The filtering and the sensitivity of the, of the receiver is just not good enough out of the band. But hey, it might come in handy for something that you may need it for. Apart from the slight different change in how they look, they're pretty much the same. I mean, the screen is probably, as I mentioned before, a little bit easier to read. That's probably, you know, something that is a lot better. The screen readability, it's a little bit easier with the, with the yellow screen. The audio is not really that much better on AM. The harmonics are pretty much the same. So, you know, they, I, yeah, I don't know. It's, I can't tell the difference between the two. If this video was helpful for you, then please give it a thumbs up. I'd really, really appreciate it. That said, I still have been rather impressed with these radios. They're dirt cheap. If you want to pick up one of these, there is a link in the description below. If you want to see my full review and my other videos on the Quan Chang UV K5, then there is a video that you can follow right over here, which describes them in more detail.